Hello everybody. So I am here with my Feel Good Friday on Sunday because I'm super, super busy. So today I have um, a little bit of a mix of topics, but they're all related. So I want to talk about, I looked up a very interesting article about actually um, how having wonderful smells and scents can help a business. And some of it applies to individuals as well. And then um, I wanted to just remind everybody the importance of making sure that we're, when we choose those smell goods, that we're avoiding synthetic ones. And then I want to extend a warm and open invitation to everyone to an educational opportunity that's coming up next Saturday. So how this, all these little things that were rolling around kind of got out of my mind. One, I've been um, allowing some business owners in the city of Pontiac to test drive um, the premium starter kit with essential oils in their businesses. And I truly believe that every business needs to have it. And so I thought it would be interesting if I looked up um, if there were any studies or information on why it would be good for a business to have it. In addition to that, um, there are a lot of people going through a lot of stuff around me in my place of worship with my family and actually had a lot of visits to individuals that were either recovering or still in the hospital currently. And while I do that, I'm always anointing people and blessing people with oils because I know how it's going to help their mood. So I visited one friend on Tuesday who had a um, tumor removed and she was currently suffering from headaches and migraines. And so I just chatted with her about some things she could do. Like I found out she wasn't drinking water. So I'm like, dehydration is a cause of that. So I encouraged her to drink water and I gave her um, spearmint essential oil to put in her water to flavor it. So hope that would help her. And then she was just wanting some things to relax and to feel soothed. So I left her eucalyptus because she was actually using Vicks for that. And then Wednesday, I visited an individual in the hospital that was um, recovering, was in ICU and recovering from several things. And she's going to be there for a little bit. And I just made sure I had lavender with me. We actually dialed into our religious meeting that night and listened to it. And, um, you know, I was just there to comfort her and I had lavender and I know the nurse appreciated that. And then my aunt <laughs> is also in the hospital suffering from something similar to the first individual where she has a tumor on her brain and she had to go to the hospital and um, she's being treated for that. She's having a whole other things going on with her. And so my sister brought a diffuser there for her and some oils. And again, it's just making everyone feel amazing and relaxed and enhancing the mood. Like there's all of the doctors and nurses that come out are talking about how they love going in the room and how wonderful it is. And then some of the other nurses are outside like, um, can you just, can, can I go in? Can you give me a reason to go in there? I want to see why it smells so good and stuff like that. So that's why just seeing all those reactions and seeing how it can help individuals with their mood and with their going with is one of the reasons why every home and every business needs to have it. But from a practical standpoint, I looked up an article from the American marketing what the american marketing association website which i used to be a part of because i actually have a degree in business administration marketing and so one of the reasons why all businesses would want to have smell goods is because individuals stay in that business 44 percent longer when they have a pleasant smell so what are the reasons why they do that? Scent has the ability to evoke an emotional response and when used right, can enhance mood and evoke feelings of happiness. And again, that's why as I was, as we were visiting all of these individuals, we were sharing these smell goods with them. People are, oh, studies have actually shown that up to a 40% improvement in mood when exposed to a pleasant fragrance. People are naturally inclined to spend more time in places places when they feel good, which is why scented environments have been shown to cause an increase linger time. You should be creating signature scents that are balanced and will make customers feel good if you're using this for a business. Citrus notes can be energizing, jasmine is a mood enhancer, and sandalwood is calming. And there's so many other plethora of scents that we know, those of us that do this all the time. 
are available. So then they actually had um, done a actual experiment to test this out. So they said there was a property management client that introduced a scent into their properties and they noticed that vacancy rates of the properties that were had nice scents in them were down by 7% than the ones that didn't have scents in it. So again, another great thing for businesses, but and then the caution was was also put in this article from again the American Marketing Association website. Um, scent does not have to be strong to be impactful. We can usually react to a minute amount of a particular scent, and that's because the scent receptors are strong and they connect to the emotional part of our brains. So that's what I want to share my personal experience from spreading happy and spreading mood enhancement with individuals that were in the hospital and one of the reasons why everyone needs to have them in their home and then some actual clerical data from marketing websites of why every business would want to have pleasant sense in their home because it will benefit them. However, as you guys already always know, I want to make sure that people realize that there's a difference between all natural scents and why I always promote all natural scents and synthetic scents. So looked up an article on that and it was entitled Fake Fragrances Are Making People's Lives Miserable. So there was a study that was conducted in August 2016 on by a fragrance chemical researcher that's a PhD, Anne Steinman. And she wanted to see how scented products would affect our lives. And so um, from it was our overall reported health problems after exposure to fake fragrance, 34% of the population reported one or more types of adverse health effects. The most common were 18% respiratory problems, 16% mucosal symptoms, 15% migraine headaches, 10% skin problems, 8% asthma attacks, 7% neurological problems, 5% cognitive problems, 5% gastrointestinal problems, 4% cardiovascular problems, 4% immune system problems, 3% musculoskeletal problems, and 1% other. When it comes to, and that was just being exposed again to fake fragrances. When it came to scented laundry products that were vented outdoors, 12% reported health problems from the scent of laundry products coming from a dryer vent. And those symptoms included headaches, breathing difficulties, and other health problems. From just a proximity of a fragrance person, 23% reported health problems from being near someone who was wearing a fragrance product and trouble in public places. 17% of people say they are unable or reluctant to use public toilets because of air fresheners, deodorizers, or scented products. 14% are unable or reluctant to wash their hands with soap in public place because they suspect the soap is fragrance. And 22.7% have been prevented from going to some public places because of scented products. And then economic loss. Fragrance product exposures have economic implications too. 20% would enter and then leave a business as quickly as possible if they smell fragrance products, and 15% 15 15 have lost work days or job due to fragrance product exposure in the workplace. So again, we want to make sure we're using all natural scents and not using the fake ones that could have adverse effect in many areas of health. So the better alternatives to use is um, I always talk about when I'm talking about the dangers of certain chemicals and certain things very specifically, go to the Environmental Working Group website, ewg.org, look up the ingredients, look up the products, make sure that they are free of toxins because it's very clear there. And some of the options that you can do is live with fewer fragrances in your life, just Cut some of them out, right? If you were like me in the past, if you've seen some of my videos where I was a candle junkie and aerosol junkie and all that stuff, I don't have any of that stuff in my house anymore. Completely avoid any products that list fragrance, perfume, phthalate, DEP, DP, DBP, or DEHP as an ingredient. 
use natural alternatives such as essential oils and oil, essential oil infused products. Buy certified organic products, but make sure that you read the label and they're avoiding all of the things we just mentioned and watch out for linalol on the labels as well. If you would like a um, natural scent for your home office, home or office, use plants. Use all natural plants. They remove pollution, create more oxygen. We talked about cleaning products and laundry detergent and some of the, the adverse effects of those. So make sure that you, if you choose to, you can make your own or that you're choosing those products that again, avoid all of those things, checking your labels or um, you know, scenting them with, with pure essential oils. If you are super sensitive and don't want to deal with anything, smell like anything, you choose fragrance free. And again, check the labels. And if you want to burn an occasional candle, use beeswax with a lead free wick, but know that any type of combustion will cause some level of particulate pollution in the home, but you'd be avoiding the toxic fragrance and petroleum chem chemicals. And also make sure that you're doing the same for your pets. Make sure that you're reading those labels. And if you see certain things in the label, do not hesitate to contact and question the company to, to verify the actual ingredients. So those were the tips and tricks that I had about, again, enhancing the mood and the environment and reducing stress by making sure that you have scents, but make sure that they're all natural and we're avoiding those synthetic scents. Now, in addition to that, I just want to make sure that everyone knew that Saturday, the 17th, so this upcoming Saturday, there is a really amazing large educational event that's going on. It is the Fall Oily Fest. And so if you've got a little bit of curiosity and you're like, okay, yeah, I want to switch some stuff over and you're here in Michigan or even in Northern Ohio and you want to come learn about that, we have this going on. So it is the Fall Oily Fest. It will be at Oakhurst Golf and Country Club at 7000 Oakhurst Lane in Clarkston, Michigan. And um, tickets... There's tickets, you can get your entry ticket for a full day of education from 9 to 4.30. And there's also tickets where there is a buffet, large, delicious lunch included. And those, to get that buffet lunch, you want to get your ticket today. So that combined ticket is $50. If you just want to come and get the education, then the ticket is $25. And there's just going to be an introduction class, just all types of information from from top to bottom, how to make your own perfume. There's a, there's a class on perfumes. There's a class on pets. There's doctors that are speaking there. Um, my family is going to be speaking there as well as myself. So my, you guys have seen a lot of the lives that my sister Dana and brother-in-law Anthony have done. So they're going to be one of the speakers. Uh, I have a class on personality types actually, that will be very helpful to anyone. Um, including family members and those that are married. So it's it's a really cool class. So there's all types of learning going on there. So I wanted to make sure everyone knew that and extend that direct invitation to everyone. And that's all I had to share for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And as usual, if you know anyone who is a homeowner, a business owner, and they're already scenting their location with something, whatever that may be, share this information with them to make sure that they're not sending it with synthetic. And if you want to share individuals that may need a little mood enhancement or boost and want to know how natural products can help with that, some, some actual data from studies that have been done, feel free to share this video with them. And if you are not following me on YouTube, you can get some very detailed information about the dangers of certain chemicals and certain things. I've done it on the dangers in eye makeup, um, body care, lipstick. So go check out, follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications and follow me to get some additional great information along the same lines of this. 
And as usual, thank you everyone for joining me. If someone has shared this video with you, please get back with them. If you have any questions, if I'm that person, contact me anytime. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.